Kato Shujo. Welcome back to Kato Shujo. No, she's not talking. Yeah, she is. Pretend you're Misha. I liked Misha's voice more. <coughs> no, that was just Sune. Misha was a Scottish woman, I think. I think we changed that. <laughs> no, I think we changed it to a Scottish woman. Yeah, it's just more Japanese. Welcome back to Kato Shujo. <laughs> it doesn't take long for us to arrive at the door to the warm looking room. Apparently situated in the center of the floor rather than either wing. Ladies first. Where? She gives an appreciative smile at the gesture, taking the lead as we file in. To the left is the wooden library counter, with the library proper being on the right. It's is it easily dwarfs my old school's library, with the distinct smell of old books giving the place an almost old world air. Okay. Uh. Just a question, quickly. Um, because that dwarf thing reminded me of something. If being a small person counts as a disability, do you think there's going to be dwarves at the school? No. Why? There don't seem to be a lot of <coughs> students here. Considering the time, it isn't a big surprise. Everyone's probably either in the school grounds or the dorms. Y you Cal? Are you here? She says it to thin air since the librarian doesn't seem to be present, and of course Lily can't see this. <laughs> What's unexpected is that it draws a reaction. <laughs> what? Just all the backhanded top comments, like, oh, she's blind, so, you know. She looks like an idiot yeah. now. <laughs> Oof. Something from under the counter thuds against it, followed by a quiet well. A dwarf! <laughs> oh, <God>. Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh, good. <laughs> the origin. Apparently the librarian quickly crawls out and bounces up to extremely rigid attention. Hi, Lily. How can I help you? Why is she the same as Lily? <laughs> Not the same. Slightly different. Change. Hi, Lily. How can I help you? <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> okay, I'll change it eventually. Her voice is strained in a failing attempt to sound casual. She's rubbing the back of her head. Good afternoon. What just happened now? I heard a strange noise. It's nothing. I just hit my head. See? I dropped an eraser under my desk. And while I was looking for a pencil, a pencil dropped. <laughs> and when I was looking for both of them, you came and surprised me. Are you alright? I'm sorry. I couldn't now. It's okay. It's okay. Sorry for making you worry. Their voices are getting more and more similar. I'm gonna try fix it at some point. This is nothing. I had far worse happen to me. <laughs> it's totally changed <laughs> mid-sentence. <laughs> I get the, the first half of the sa sentence sounded really close to your actual voice. Yeah. And it just totally changed back to her voice. <laughs> I'm stuck, James. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> She's quick to reverse Lily's apologies, almost frantically trying to push aside the possibility that she could be in any way inconvenienced by bashing her head on the counter. Yes, well... See, that just changed, like, straight away. <laughs> and there was no word well. He just made up a word <laughs> to change it. <sighs> yeah, worse things have happened. He 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 he. What is he? He 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 he. That would need to be. Oh, <laughs> the girl fidgets with her fingers as so Lily doesn't seem to. Drop. <laughs> <laughs> fidgets with her. <laughs> the girl fidgets with her fingers. Irrelevant. Concerned expression, then shuffles some papers around the counter for no reason. A little shorter than Lily, replete with glasses, freckles, and a very troubled look. She seems to fit a library perfectly. Oh, uh, Lily, did you get my message? Message? Um. Uh, oh, the two imported books that arrived. Okay, first of all, how would a blind person get a text message, or an email, or a message of any kind? A, a letter. A oh, letter. Or like a verbal message. From who? I don't know from who. Exactly, James. 
Don't bring this shit here. Don't. Right, right, they finally came! I can't believe it took so long, but... And they could be the kind of books you... Or the kind of letter you read with your hand. Or they could have the phone that reads it out to you. Hey, James. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Amidst the celebrations, partially for many things to change the topic, I'm sure. Thank God for the books. She notices me the from the corner person. of her eye and freezes on the spot when she does. Oh no! I'm sorry for not noticing you before! Did you need to check out a book? Or return one? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why she can so quickly shift between moves is a little unsettling. He's with me, Yoko. This is Hasao. A new student. Hasao, this is Yoko. The school librarian. Pleased to meet you. Hasao! Right! Hasao! Pleased to meet you, too, Hassel! Just think she's bad with names. For a second, she visibly attempts to engrave the name on her Aha! mind so she won't forget. I was right. Yoko often arranges. Braille, to that's what it's called. Import foreign books in Braille for me. Would you like to tell Hassel a little something about the library? Liz Innocent suggestion is met with an expression of abject terror. <laughs> oh my god! No! Oh, there we go. I... Please, Lily! I can't! I don't know what he could be interested in! This is too much responsibility! Ha-ha! That hurt my ears. How <laughs> it's any responsibility at all, I don't care. If her objection is so sincere, I don't doubt for a second that she would rather disembowel herself on the spot than tell me where the light novels are. But... So, there are a lot of books in Braille here. No, I said something. No, you fucking idiot, because they get ordered in. Dickhead. I attempt to save the day by asking the first thing that pops into my head. It seems to work at least partially, as Yuko seems to not exactly relax, but at least to look slightly less tense. Well, I think about a third or a fourth of Yamakao's library is either in Braille or audio. Ha-ha! Oh, it's too high-pitched. It hurts. Makes sense, given all the blind students that would be here. If it's only that, how come this library is so big in the first place? Um, well, we get a lot of new books here regularly, because the library is adequately endowed. That's probably why. Endowed. Really, James? The library <laughs> has a large thingy. I'm not going to no. be that rude. No, it's got books. It's well endowed because it has lots of books. Yes, that's it. That's exactly what, what you were meant. you thinking of? I was thinking of watermelon. They spend more on new books here than my salary. And then I have to organize and shelve all of them. I hate them so much. <laughs> I'm going to get a knife and just go around and stabbing everyone. It's so troublesome, and they weigh so much, I wish I could just kill everyone! Oh. <laughs> Very awkward silence follows this revelation of too much information. Um, I'll go check the owls then, if you don't mind. Probably best for all of us if she doesn't keep talking to me. Very well. Meanwhile, Yuko, I would have those books if it's... All right, with you. Swish. And flick. <laughs> Wingardium Le That's you! I know. <laughs> hey, I thought I said Lebri... Lebri... Lebriary? Yeah. Yeah. Good My words. first Good impression words. was right. Library is surprisingly big. I thought I said librarian the first time. <laughs> Your words are the best, James. Yes. Ambling down the narrow aisles, I study the spines of the books in random order, occasionally sliding one out to read the blurb, taking it with me if it looks good. A few moments, I have a respectable stack of books in my arms. I guess I'll never be stuck for a choice in here. Unless they're braille. The normality of the library sinks, sinks in. Stinks in? Yeah. Sure, there are large print and braille books scattered throughout, what, but it is what it is, a library. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a fucking spaceship. It's as if the calm mood from the room I had tea with... Lily and snuck it with us in here. 
Unless it was here to begin with. Ooh. Something about that puts me at ease, just like before. Reach the end of the aisle and find a collection of desks set up for study or personal reading. Going a little further, though, I discover a nice, quiet corner at the back. While the rest of the library, I see odd students sitting at a desk, either reading or stealthily sleeping. The back is pretty much deserted. As I glance around, I see someone who I recognise sitting on the one of several beanbags. Oh my god! It's a dark-haired girl from my class, the one who snuck out of the classroom earlier. She's reading a book, keeping it close to her face, which makes it her look like she's really into it. Not sus at all. From the way she was acting today, I heard her pegged as more of a delinquent than a bookworm. In fact, her mysterious disappearance from class raises all sorts of whys in my head. Intrigue floats slowly but surely towards the surface, before I know it, I'm walking towards a mysterious long-haired girl. I guess there's no harm in introducing myself as I would with anyone else. She's a classmate after all. Walking over to another beanbag, I take a seat and lay my books beside it. The girl starts looking scaredly up at me from underneath her fringe. This is the first time I've seen her this close. Underneath the long, dense bangs, I can see that part of her face, at least a third if not half, is pretty badly scarred. Oh my god. My eyes are immediately drawn to the scars, subconsciously so peeking past her hair until they meet her own eyes. I know it's different companies, but it's the X-Men's first villain. Two face. What? <laughs> <sighs> For a second, I am shocked and devote my eyes to the book in her hands before I realize that looking away probably only makes it worse. It takes too many seconds to collect myself and remember what I walked up to her for. Um, number three. Hi, I'm new here. Sound of Kai. We're in the same class. Um, I just transferred here the other day. Maybe you don't remember? <laughs> I did a self-introduction, too. <laughs> the girl doesn't say a word, but simply stares at me wide-eyed. I'm still getting used to the place, so I'm trying to meet as many people as I can. So, uh, what's your name? Ha- Hanukkah. This sounds like someone. I can't remember who. <laughs> well... The speech is stuttering, and so quiet that it is barely audible even in the still library. Somehow I think that my delinquent impression of her was wrong. Hanako, eh? So what are you reading? <laughs> she gently tips the book backwards so that I can read the title, at the same time hiding her face behind it. She m must have noticed me staring before. Life of Pi? I've never heard of it it's before. It's that movie What's thingy! Yeah, they came out kind of recently. Yeah, uh, and I watched. Pop and culture stuff. referencing. Uh -huh. yeah. it, actually, the whole book's a reference to this. Hey, James. Fuck off. A boy and a tiger on a boat. I'm on a boat. I can see this taking. I'm going fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds interesting. Is it any good? She nods from behind the boat, but stays silent. She kind of looks tense, but like you could earlier, oh, but in a different way. More like petrified with terror, I'd say. Oh my god, she's about to evolve. <laughs> the mysterious delinquent girl turned out to be anything but. She is quivering in a way that makes it look like she is mortally afraid of me. The only way out of this, as far as I can tell, is to try and get a normal conversation going. Is it a library book? I'm looking for new ones to read, but there's just so many. No, it's mine. Stop it! You don't need to lean so close to the mic. Oh, ah. so do you come here often? A huge, huge plus spreads on Hanukkah's face and her eyes wide and far larger than I thought it was possible for eyes to do. Sure, it's just not her burn. Uh-oh, did she interrupt my lame attempt at small talk as if he will attempt to pick her up? I mean, uh, I, I didn't mean it like that. I... I... I? I gotta go for something! <laughs> oh my god. She, well then. She was just doing her superpower. She was just charging it up. One more time. Goodbye.